So th thanks very much, Neville. And uh, one of the things that was quite clear through the Congress as well is that there's a strong need for partnership and cooperation. And nothing good happens in the Arctic unless we all do it together. So while we are the Congress co-chairs, there's a whole team of people that stand behind this Congress. And uh, they've all put their heart and soul into it. And uh, that struck me very forcefully one day during the Congress when someone came up to the registration desk and was looking for Courtney and asking for uh, some pills to help them sleep. And I was thinking, my God, she's helping people sleep as well as organizing everything. <laughs> so uh, Courtney has put uh, heart and soul into this work. And thank you. <laughs> um, And while we've had this Congress going on as well, as you've seen, there's been a very strong youth component. And uh, Kauri, who specifically asked me not to thank him, has been responsible for organizing that. <laughs> so, <laughs> and uh, of course, in the office, we have Hadi and Olga, who are the mainstay of organizing travel and all sorts of arrangements. And we couldn't do anything without their help either. So I'd like to thank them. Yeah. And in case people think it's all just in the CAF Secretariat, we've had some great cooperation with our colleagues in the uh, Finnish Environment Ministry and Agency, Iris, Riku, Sanna, and I'd like to give them a special thanks because they've been essential in helping us coordinate. Uh, and you only have to clap once more. And the final thanks is to our volunteers who have been great, because we're such a small group of people, there was no way we could have coordinated everything without their help in making sure people didn't get lost, or people always get lost, helping them find their way to where they should be. <laughs> so. yeah. And, yeah? Oh, yeah. oh, yes. How could I be remiss of that? Sorry, Yuhu. And uh, our, co our colleagues, but not just Yuhu. <laughs> not just Yuhu, all the staff here at Latvia, Mixa, Yuhu, Tapani, uh, all the people's names I don't know. <laughs> but they've been essential in helping us make this a very smooth running performance because we did our best to be organized, but they helped with changes, timing, and we're smiling and laughing the whole time. So thank you very much. <laughs> we, we would certainly recommend them to anyone else who's organizing conferences in Finland. <laughs> uh, and yeah. So I just wanted to, oops, sorry. Just uh, two announcements to make because we had uh, uh, best poster winners and Springer publishers. They were so kind as to give us uh, vouchers for 200 euros for, e for each of the three best posters in the Congress. I don't know if these people are still here. Uh, Paul, Evgenia, and Katarazina. I'm not the best at pronouncing. <laughs> but if they are here, then please come and see us afterwards and we'll give you a voucher. Even if you're not, you'll get an email with the information about that once the uh, Congress is over and we've recovered. <laughs> And we've also had a, a sweepstakes competition so that uh, participants in the Congress could vote on what their favorite images were. And we printed out smaller versions, so you're not going to carry home a two meter wide picture. But uh, these are the people who've won those. If anyone is here, please come and leave us know. If not, uh, we'll make sure to email the information to everybody. So. And uh, just before my colleague Auliki comes up with her closing words, I'd like to make one st short note, is that uh, this is our second such Congress, and in the first Congress four years ago, it was very much focused on baseline information, knowledge gaps, and it's really inspiring, and gives you hope to see that in this Congress, there's so much more a focus on the actions that we need to do, the advice that we need to give, and there's a much more discussion on the solutions, so it's much more action-orientated which is a great thing, especially as Neville pointed out in light of the recent IPCC report. And so our next Congress will be in four years' time, probably. <laughs> and that will be very nice because it will be halfway, tr halfway towards that 10-year uh, or 12-year period that IPCC have pointed out. And we'll be able to take a collective look at ourselves and uh, take ourselves to account. Have we done what was suggested in this Congress? Have we actually managed to make a meaningful impact? 
with all the various actions and conversations that have started here. So it's going to be very interesting to see where that will happen. And as we open the Congress with uh, the President of Finland, who talked about a key challenge that he saw for us was how do we translate all of the good science, all of the good information that comes from our collective efforts, uh, and that's a key challenge that we need to face. And uh, keep that in mind. And as we opened also, we said, be bold and inventive. We're going to report on all the various different suggestions and actions that have come forward in the Congress. So if anyone has any questions or would like to follow up on any of the items they've started here or the conversations they've had, please contact us in the Secretariat and we'll help to be an enabling uh, force in that. And uh, please keep in mind, be bold. Thank you. And okay.